Last time the Wallabies were able to beat the All Blacks in Sydney last year. So this current All Black winning streak starting here at Eden Park on August the 15th last season. And as we stand by now for the Hucker. J. Perinara leading the Haka, and for one or two of the Wallabies facing the Haka for the first time. Not so the captain, Stephen Moore, though. His 27th test match against the All Blacks. Well, here's the man who did the World Cup final last year, generally acknowledged as the best there is. Nigel Owens from Wales, Craig Joubert, Marius van der Vesthuizen are his assistants, and Sean Feldsman of South Africa is the TMO. So all is in readiness for the final test match for the All Blacks at home this season. Capacity crowd, excellent weather conditions, and we're very nearly set to roll. OK, Eden Park, let's count it down. Right, so we've got a countdown coming. Whistle goes. And uh, away we go at Eden Park. The All Blacks against the Wallabies. And Ryan Crotty, the man who takes it down for the All Blacks, Perinara lines it up and gets it away to Smith and Ben Smith drills it away downfield and a good tidy start by the All Blacks well it hasn't always been a great line out this season want to be so Stephen Moore will want to get the first one right and he does so as Coleman takes it down. Tamani quickly into the play. Here's Israel Falau. And flying at him was Crotty. But the Wallabies in possession. 
short pass goes to Coleman again from halfback Phipps. Looking to take a few metres up the centre. And an early penalty goes against the Wallabies. Up the goal. It was a good start. I like the innovation off the back of the line out from the Wallabies. They got Falau into the game. Ryan Crotty with that line speed came forward. But Falau showed why he is one of the leading tackle breakers in the world. Managed to get through him. And then it was just the pick and go from Tamani. When the Wallabies were looking set to launch, he picked it up. And from there, made the mistake. I don't think it needed to go. Here's the tackle from Cried, Ryan Crotty. Enough to get the big man down, but he got back up. This is the pick and go that didn't need to happen. Dane Coles then. And stretching up Retallick. No, he missed him. And so the Wallabies turned the first All Black line out over, and Michael Hooper makes some ground. Carried on here by Tamati, this big, strong number eight forward. And he lays it nicely there for Phipps. Off it goes now to Foley. Reese Hodge in the play. In fact, everyone having an early touch as it goes out to Henry Spate on the left wing side now Foley again and this time it's Rory Arnold Arnold's out and the penalty here for the Wallabies right in centre field and this is a guilt edged opportunity for Australia to take the early lead now just a little bit of push shove the two locks involved and Dean Mum was there as well Sam Whitelock not standing for any nonsense early in this match didn't quite get the line out right the All Blacks from there they do look a little more dangerous with Henry Spate back in the back line and obviously Falau looking to get into the game Karibi we've not quite seen him yet but there's a better balance about it I think Smithy yeah and uh, just look for the uh, All Blacks in midfield they're the ones that Nigel Owens get see Owen Franks just a yard and a half ahead he was the play they got in midfield meanwhile we saw a lot of that in Wellington didn't we push and shove and push and shove and we're going to see a bit of it again tonight, obviously. But uh, this is a kick right out in front for Bernard Foley of uh, around about oh, 33, 34 metres. Wind direction, it's, uh, it's into him a wee bit. But it shouldn't be a problem to get the Wallabies some profit for a very good start. Yeah, that's right. It has been a good start from them. I like the balance of the back row as well. It's much better than what they've been picking. They've picked a ball carry in Tamani. I just didn't think that the synergy between Pocock and Hooper was really working playing those two open sides a better balance for this game Foley right out in front and just swinging away started it straight and just hooked it Wade Cooper watching from the bench tonight well, David Pocock will be involved as well yes the breeze certainly is up and it carried that one away out to the left as Barrett sends it away down into Wallaby territory where it's claimed by Phipps and now Foley drilling it across to the far left wing side and it's been claimed by Leonard Brown, who got it off to Piranara. Now here's Ben Smith, here's Leonard Brown back into the action, looking for the long pass, floating it away as far as Reed, and a lovely pass from Reed away to Dag. As the All Blacks attack inside the 22, now here is Smith once more. First time inside the 22 as Piranara frees it up for Crotty, and now Retallick. Ball coming for Piranara. Barrett for quick hands. Snapped up by Savia. Gets rid of Hooper. And a good straightening go, run go. by Julian Savia as Piranara under some pressure. Now here's Franks. Ben Smith in a gap. Got it away to Dag. Too quick. Israel Dag the first try. And that's vintage all black rugby that we've been witnessing in the, particularly the last few weeks. It started with a plethora of offloads. TJ Piranara started it, they all popped, 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 and then finally the space on the outside, Anton Leonard Brown went through, let's think all the way back to there, that's where it all started, Ben Smith heavily involved, Dean Mum made a poor decision on defence, didn't take anybody, 
Kieran Reid, look at this pass from Kieran Reid. And the Wallabies don't really know who to tackle and who to line up because they just keep it alive. There's another pop pass. Ben Smith, instrumental, beautiful pass and too much speed. Great finish as he dag, but what a team try. What a team try, all right. It's the Harlem Globetrotters, Globetrotters with an oval ball. It's just been absolutely fantastic. Ben Smith injection into the back line. We saw Phil Al get involved early, but Ben Smith, he broke tackles. He hit half gaps. And then, of course, you get these wonderful skills out wide, ball skills. How about the pass from Leonard Brown? How is he enjoying All Black Rugby after a month involved? Fantastic. The bounce pass, beautifully weighted to Reed. The magic behind the back from him. Man, oh, man. Skills. First chance they get, they punish. Tough early kick for Barrett. And never really looked like it. So Israel Dag comes up with try number 21 in Test Rugby, and this is how it happened. Right, ben Smith, don't underestimate the work that he does there on the inside, just to free up the space for Dag. And look at that reaction. What's the same in the coaching box as what it was for the reserves. They were so thrilled to see that piece together. Seven minutes in the game. As Foley gets us going again. Trotty breaks the first tackle. Takes it outside the 22. Come on, mate. Perinara gets it high into this breeze. There are none better than Falau under the high ball. Takes it beautifully. Now Phipps. Foley gets it across. Ball knocked away in the tackle. And it's going to be a scrum. That was a solid hit. Might have been Kano. And Franks. And Franks. He yep. doesn't miss, does he, early on in the game. He makes himself well and truly known. And Franks right there. Bang, read underneath. Yep. <coughs> that combination tackle, Justin. I heard you talking about it uh, before the match in the, earlier in the week. Yeah, you're right, isn't it? It's not now just about making the tackle in this modern era, and particularly with this team, the All Blacks. It's about... The first guy, where he hits, if he hits low, stun, yeah, as Kieran Reid did there, the Franks can come in high and target Max the ball, which he did perfectly. Hit that, straight. Well, the Wallabies have uh, yeah. just protected this narrow side space. a wee bit. So we've got Karevi over this side. Keep that space. Crouch. Bind. Set. Penalty <laughs> early. And he's got on this near side, the game, Scott Seo on the loose head down. side of this Australian scrum. Well, this is going to cost the Wallabies a lot of ground because Barrett is going to drill this. This was the first scrum of the match. And on this near side, Nigel Owens decided that it Australia that caused it. Yeah, on, Scott Seo there. And the loose here just pulled it down. First all black line out, not too flash. So Keep Dane Coles. Speech, and this time he finds Kieran Reid, who's been the target for most of the season. Coles has gone in and grabbed the ball. Has it at the back of the mall. Perinara wants it now. And Perinara gets it. Gets it off to Karate, almost intercepted, Leonard Brown in the clear, they won't stop him. Wallabies went for the intercept, it didn't work, and Anton Leonard Brown scores. Uh, not good enough from Australia, no doubt about it, but Anton Leonard Brown, what a sensation he has been in recent weeks. He's burst onto the scene, and it's only taken him 10 minutes in this match to make an impact, but defensively this is just not good enough. He came way in, did Henry Spate. He left Israel Falau with no one to get, and Anton Leonard Brown swooped on it. But defensively, very poor Australia. They must be so happy upstairs. They've been down there twice. They've got maximum benefit from it with very good execution. It was a good, safe line out after the first one. Nothing flashy. The drive didn't amount to much. But from that point onwards, the flat passing across must have the sky and we can see it. I don't have to describe it. He's just given it to us. Well, he, he'll be just so disappointed that his players showed such ill-discipline in defence. 
There's no need for Henry Spate to rush in that quickly on his own from second man out and leaving Israel Folau with three players to try and defend. Not good enough from individuals. Well, he's gone the other way this time, Bowden Barrett. So two unconverted tries to Dag and Leonard Brown. Ten points to nil and just 11 minutes gone. Waiting his turn, Aaron Cruden recovered now from an injury which kept him out for quite some time Foley's kick and for the third time it's Ryan Crotty who takes it down this time the All Blacks remain inside the 22 as the pass goes wide for Kano. Release, move, goal. Now Piranara. Smith leaves it late. Stay. Gets his kick away. Fielded by Falau. Now Foley. Trying to get something going here through Reese Hodge. And the big number 12 taken right on halfway. As Phipps works it off to the blind side for Coleman. Just looking a little pedestrian at the moment, the Wallabies. They go with Scott Seo. Now Foley. Here's Falau in and again making ground as he so often does. Phipps quickly there. Now Foley dragged down and a good tackle by Moody. Now Australia getting a little bit of go forward. Here's Stephen Moore, the captain. Lays it back nicely. As Hodge shifts it on, Karevi. He's powerful. And got out of the and out of the read tackle, taking it to the 22 with Nick Phipps, and that was never controlled. It looked as though it was knocked on. Oh, he's gone the other way. Okay, so it's a penalty against the All Blacks against Brody Retallick. It was lost forward by the Wallabies, but clearly offside. I thought uh, Justin in this particular situation, he, he actually had a head Number start, four. tried to get back, but. The, I think uh, referee's assistant picked him up from the far side. Yeah, absolutely agree with you. He just okay. was a step ahead of everybody else, Brady Retallick. Interesting, isn't it, what Australia are going to do here? They're going to go for touch and back themselves to score. I think this is just what they have to do. They have to be positive. They have to come out and they have to attack the All Blacks if they're going to have any chance in this match. They can't just sit back and kick the odd penalty goal to win. They've got to cross the chalk, and this is an indication that that's what they're intending to do. More throws quickly. Stretching up was Mum. And now they're going to try and drive the All Blacks back. Moore has gone to the back. Ball was out. Matt Todd got round very quickly. Now it's been snapped up by Kano. Perinara trying to wrestle it away. Now quick hands, and the All Blacks firing it around in front of their own goalposts. Could cost them. And uh, the Wallabies. Release goal! And penalty. Well, unfortunately, again, the Wallabies, their discipline just isn't good enough from the line out they were reasonably well set the all blacks did counter drive and did a good job at getting them towards the touchline but then for the ball just to be dropped and lost at the back put phipps under pressure and the all black flags when they sniff an opportunity they are just like a black wave and in came kano and they turned the ball over yeah, and extremely that's as ruthless good, as they are extremely good matt todd in that situation his timing was absolutely perfect gee they got confidence from under their own bin to throw it around like that didn't quite come off but you, you can see the belief. All Blacks throw quickly and they win it through this time. Whitelock as Coles holds at the back. Still in All Black territory, Perinara. Fill out once more. Cleverly gets away from Dag. And then is dragged down on the Coles tackle. Cleared by Phipps to Marnie. 
Flips there again. Now here's Kepu. Gets it wide for Foley. Probing. Turns it back on the inside. Hodge makes a good run. Starting to play with a little more confidence. Now Phipps clears it quickly. Up it goes to Coleman. Todd's all over this. And he's going to get a penalty. He got isolated. Big Adam Coleman. And he was vulnerable. And Matt Todd was able to pounce. He just did really well to stay on his feet, Matt Todd. He recognised that they didn't have enough supporting cleaners Australia so that his arrival was the key and turning it over from there he just had to stay on his feet and Let's go, he did that good discipline and a nice turnover when australia was starting to look good i like the second man play that they're bringing in we've seen falau that time the injection of foley just out the back so it's a looking like a front ball and then they're hitting a back runner out the back and it's causing the all blacks a couple of problems so they're going to have to address that uh, nigel arns going to be with both captains here over a, i think the niggle i'm just feeling a bit of temperature now and Nothing serious, but the little thing is just going off the ball. As I asked before the game, it doesn't happen. I'm not going to restart until you've spoken to both sides. It ends there, or I will come down harsh on it. Go and have a word, please. Yeah. If you go, and you, Stephen, have a word. Well, he wants to nip it in the bud. It's really only been pushing and shoving. Yeah, it's probably a bit unnecessary, I think. It's a, it's a contact sport. It's a physical game, isn't it? And, a bit of push and shove is uh, there's nothing illegal about pushing and shoving. It's just showing a bit of passion. It's a good opportunity for Kieran Reid to play in this set piece, though, isn't it? Fantastic. So short line out. Kano midfield. Todd midfield. Watch my hand stay. So the throw goes to Whitelock. Well, he will come out this one. It's going to require some boots to come in, and that'll be turned over. Well, you should watch the work of Dean Mum here. He recognised the laws of the game as they are, which was that it collapsed more, and even though he was lying on the ground, he was able to then get his hands on the ball and because it's a collapse, we'll watch him here in the blue helmet. There he is. And he gets his hands on it. He just doesn't let go. They're trying to move him, but he's got his hands wedged on the ball. Kieran Reid can't get it out from the squeeze position. Good recognition of uh, the legal way that you can stop the All Blacks from getting the ball back when it has been a collapse. Shoulder. Shoulder. Go down. Shoulder. Crouch. Bind. Set. All Blacks pushing hard. Wallaby scrum. Oh, it was struggling. He's got the All Blacks for going down. But there's no question that well, Wallabies were on the back foot. I said I would reward you if you were dominant and legal, but you went down to the ground. They were all on their feet. Back you go, please. It doesn't matter. Stay up, you're going forward or not. Down to the ground. So Owen Franks giving his point of view along the lines of it's pretty hard to stay up when the opposition's going backwards. I thought it was quite a relevant point actually. We asked you before, follow your legs through with you. Well, they have very nearly got on the All Black side at that point, so the Wallabies, the All Black's in there disputing it. And it's been grabbed by Moody. So a wayward throw by Moore, and now the kick by Perinara. And Moore will have to go through it all again, but he's lost about 20 or 30 metres in the process. He's good at that, Sam Whitelock this year. Taking this to another level, the ability to steal. They are going to be crucial. The bench versus the bench. Later on, we know that. Moore throws, Mum deflects, now Foley hands it on, Falau standing up close, got away from a couple of tackles Falau, now carried on by Kepu, 
Good strong run by the tight head prop. Release! Wallaby's looking pretty good with the ball in hand. There's Moore. Got some good ground again, Stephen Moore. As Phipps works it away to Foley. Here's Falao, short pass. Held up, and the ball has playing advantage. Hale at Petty. It's against the All Blacks. It might have been a deliberate knockdown. Here's Foley. Up it goes for Big Tamani. To Petty Tamani in the number eight jersey. Now away for CO. And Scott CO makes good ground. Phipps. Wallaby's testing the All Black defence here. And away it goes for Karevi. He's strong. He popped up the pass, but it went forward. If there'd been someone there to take it, it would have been a try scoring opportunity. But Samu Karevi. Good footwork, though, from Karevi. One on one. Watch this footwork from the centre in out. Bounced out of the Savia tackle. And then the pass. The pass just doesn't need to be thrown. That's brilliant footwork, though. I guess probably he thought he was going to go into touch, so he just had to do something. But I agree with Michael Checker. There's things they are doing out there that they are completely not helping themselves with. The inaccuracies at line out, the small turnovers, the ill discipline on defence. If you're going to beat the All Blacks, you just can't afford to be off your game in those areas. Dane Cole's the man down. Only briefly. Play perfectly. So this is where Australia, they should have sp spoken in that break and said, let's make it hard for them to get out of the zone. Keep the pressure, please, lads. Crouch. Bind. Set. <laughs> So it goes from Perinara. You're going on so Reed brings it out to the open side. Hooper tips him over but couldn't hang on. So Reed was able to go an extra meter or two. Boy, it's competitive in there as Perinara unleashes and uh, drifting in field. So Hale at Petty. All Blacks getting there quickly. Hale at Petty sets it up for Phipps. Wallaby's getting a fair bit of ball. And away it goes again for Kipu. Now Foley sends it on for Hodge. What a good tackle that is by Kieran Reid. Todd trying to get his hands on the ball and the penalty. He's in. New release. That's a turnover. Holding on. Sensational start at turnover time for Matt Todd. That's three on the bounce. It's Karevi. He doesn't look good. He wasn't good after that contact in the far corner with yeah, the yeah, when footwork. He stepped, when he stepped severe, he came up bad, didn't he? Yes. And uh, he does not look good at all. You're dead right. So that uh, may well see Novalu come into the game or maybe the shuffle with Cooper coming in. Karevi's there at the moment, he's going to have to defend, and he's not looking too flash at the moment. And ball put down, though, and it's uh, snapped up by Spate. And the referee will have to go back. Well, the Wallabies very lucky there because Karevi was hobbling across in defence. Incredibly lucky. He was in all sorts of trouble. He won't be able to stay on the field. There's no doubt at all about that. They'll have to work some sort of a miracle yeah, for much. him to to be able to carry on in this test match and the All Blacks they were certainly attacking against Australia with a man down because Karibi couldn't offer anything uh, it will be Nav Naivalu in uh, Jersey 23 and it won't be too far away I don't think they're going to be able to fix this just uh, a little bit of a glance maybe there from Israel Dag up just uh, gave the opportunity for the ball to be not controlled in the, pro in the best possible manner but Big day for uh, politics, Nisbo. Yeah, Frank Bainey Marama there, along with John King and Steve Chu, the Prime Minister of Fiji, of course, and Sefer Naivalu comes on, Fiji born player, to replace Samu Karevi. So 
A number of Fijians involved. Well, he loves his rugby, Frank Wani Marama, that is for sure. Oh. See where Naivalu slots into this uh, particular setup. Let's see that from the set piece. I'll give you a second, but then it needs to come. So just his second test yeah, match, man Six who plays for the Rebels. Right. Spate may well go in one. Henry Spate's uh, in the headgear and there is uh, slotted in the second five. Falau outside him. So the end of the night for Samu Karebi, who showed us some good skills Five. while he was there. Set. Yeah, Australia's last scrum wasn't too good. Nobody can hook this. There's so much pressure in there. They just can't get their feet onto the ball. No. Two. Well, it's a sure sign. It's a good contest. When the lads, ball the just sits there, and nobody the can throw. move their feet. That same ball. That's a good contest, but we need a hook. Oh, the temptation to get the hand in there. Right. Stay, stay in your second row, OK? Stay in your second row, okay? I've got quite a big tearing of centres, so well, I've lost one already in Karevi, but Reese Hodge stay has been brought into the side. It's real size about him. He's the player that's standing directly behind the scrum. Yes, he's a big man, all right. Bind. Set. Don't hate it, pity there. Now they want a quick hook if they can get it. Well, again, it's a struggle to get the feet to the ball. Look at it. It's sitting there. It's sitting there. And oh, nothing happens. It's an absolute stalemate. Well, Nick Phipps needs to recognise this, and he needs to do the Ready? classic. There is nothing wrong Half back with roll under the locks feet feed here, I think. <laughs> I think the game needs him to do it. Yes. I appreciate you working hard. Just keep working hard, but the ball is coming. Just step back, boys. Keep keep the space, please. Come back a bit. Stay there. Stay there. So let's see whether Phipps adjusts slightly. Certainly thinks it's on to go. If he can get the quick hook, it's on for them to go right. Bowden Barrett's Crouch. sort of trying to cover that side on his own there. He'll have the flankers Bind. obviously pop out and read. But Set. if they can get a quick hook and get to the right, that's the place to attack from here. Oh, he did his best, but it bounced off a foot, and we're back to square one. It's a real struggle, and he's going to do it again, Nigel Owens. Oh, boy, those who like scrums are going to love this. There's plenty of verbals going on there in the front row. Oh, they're enjoying it, the front row as though, aren't they? They're having their own little micro game. He got the feed horribly wrong there, did Nick Phipps. Just as Nigel Owens pulls away from the scrum here after they get set, Phipps should just step in there and put it. Fair in the second row. Yep, exactly. Let's get the ball back with these lads. Come back. Come back a bit. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. We're going to try this again. Five. Take an age to organise it. Set. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it got a foot to it, and that was enough. Now here they go through Haylett Petty, looking to get on the outside, but Barrett makes a good tackle, and now Phipps away for Foley. Foley sees a gap. Perinara has to make the tackle. Reed in after the ball. Now Tamani charges, and a good strong run again by the Tongan born number eight. Now Foley works it away for Haylett Petty. Phipps, Coleman, holds the pass up, doesn't deliver for Arnold. Now Stephen Moore, the captain, 
Wallabies getting a fair bit of possession. Perinara gets his boot to the ball, but it creates a gap, and away goes Phipps. Got his pass away nicely too for Coleman, but it falls for Franks, who was rolling back on defence. Now it's in there for the Wallabies again, so they managed to get it back. Here's Foley, away it goes to Hodge. Haylett Petty once more, finding Hodge. Wallabies threatening as Phipps drags it out. Foot pass goes up for Arnold. Big man stretches and scores. And what a good try it was as well. So much to like from Australia there, and in particular, what I enjoyed was Bernard Foley getting the ball flat. A bit more niggle after the try's been scored here. A bit of push and shove, but nothing too serious. But the fact that Foley's prepared to go to the line, ball in two hands, show it. But certainly giving the opportunity for more space on the outside. That was you pulling the guy back when there was no need. It's after the try was scored. It's going to be a penalty against you on the halfway line. You keep that discipline. You're the captain. Well, a penalty on halfway. You don't very often get that. A penalty after the try is scored. Now, the try's been scored by Rory Arnold from the Brumbies. This bloke, in the old language, is six foot ten. So and there's Foley. Ball in two hands, bringing defenders in. So it creates the space on the outside for Hale at Petty. And then as we come back again to the try scorer, here's Foley. Look how flat he is. That's where he needs to be. Ball in two hands to the line. Beautiful pop pass, which brought Reed in, and the big man crashes over. And before that, it looked like the All Blacks had won the ball back cold with Owen Franks diving it on the ground. Great bit of turnover work again. And it, it expected from Michael Hooper. He's seen Matt Todd dominate that area. Michael Hooper and Dean Mum on the floor got that ball back for Australia after they'd lost it, threatened the turnover. Nice to see Nigel Owens backing up his instructions, though, to both captains. Well, yes, against the all-black captain as well. So here's Foley. The penalty on the halfway line to you. Wallabies have no Wallabies idea about this. Yeah, so the Wallabies Number made their way back. In. Obviously, after the try back. had been scored and the push and shove had happened. And it was while he was talking to Kieran Reid, Nigel Owens, so the Wallaby players themselves wouldn't have known that they were get, getting this penalty. Discipline. Uh, Foley can nail this in the corner somewhere and they can get a good, good line out. Although Hodge is going to have a kick. There you go, Reese Hodge. You for the cup then. Yes, he, the he's landed two penalty goals in a short I want to Wallaby sides. career. Reese Hodge, one I remember against the All Blacks, it was a massive kick. That was in Wellington. A great opportunity here for Australia to equal up this game, which will statistically back up what they've been achieving. Yes, they've made their mistakes, but they're operating with 65% possession, 72% territory. They've had most of the ball, and they've been inside the All Blacks 22 over two minutes, whereas the All Blacks have only been inside the Australian 22 for 57 seconds. So... They've actually had the balance of the game, Australia. They just haven't got the points, but now they have. And if they can get three more here, game on. Well, here's Hodges' kick. Oh, the distance, no problem at all. Gee, that went into the grandstand. But it wasn't straight. Just under 10 minutes remaining, and we've got a contest. As Barrett hangs it away downfield. Nicely taken by Phipps, he was just partially obscured for a moment. Here's Hodge trying to put a step on, held up by Todd and Kano together. Release goal! Release goal! Ball is there though for Nick Phipps as he swings it away. Foley, no chance of getting through that gap. Crotty is there, and now Phipps. All Blacks in over the ball once more, looking to turn it over. Might have done it, have done it. Now, Ritalik, oh, intercept, but he's offside. Israel Folau is off. Well, he's standing offside. The strong work of TJ Perinara here. 
at breakdown time. Crotty was very strong in the first exchange. Yeah, I agree with you on Crotty. I, di I didn't see the work of Perinara, but I certainly thought that Crotty made a great defensive hit, and then he got to his feet and made a complete nuisance of himself, which is what you're supposed to do in that area, making it hard for the halfback. Yeah, here's Crotty, that's a good hit, and he drives his legs as well on folding. There he is, making a nuisance of himself, which then compromises Phipps. Now Dane Coles. Good attacking options available here for the All Blacks as Retallick grabs it. They slip it back to Coles. Perinara standing well back, so the All Blacks at the moment quite happy to keep it tight. It's with Kano. Not making too much progress, so Perinara will have to go. And he fires the pass off, and it goes loose from Crotty, and it's been lost. Well, it's not all coming together tonight for the All Blacks. Time out, guys. Really trying to slip it to Barrett. Okay. Yeah, we've got an injury break. To, <laughs> to be fair, I think that Anton Leonard Brown just got ahead of the play there as well, which confused uh, Bowden Barrett to a small degree. Just a chance to reiterate, if you didn't hear the public address system, that the All Blacks are wishing to pass their condolences to the family of Wally Argus, previous longest living All Black, passing away in Christchurch yesterday at the age of 95. He played four test matches, 46 and 47. He scored two tries on debut, did Wally, and he was a member of the famous Kiwis team that toured uh, Britain and France after World War II. So seven minutes remain until half time. And there'll be a little bit of consternation in the All Black coaching box, I would imagine, Justin. There will be. They have had some inaccuracies in the in the game so far, and there's another one of those where things just aren't quite clicking like they can or have been doing. The last running the lines the there the and there's his respective coaches boxes they just haven't had enough ball is the thing that'll be concerning steve hansen and the rest of his coaching team that australia have had all of the ball in all the territory and the all blacks will probably find themselves feeling like they haven't got really started in the game yet albeit they've still scored two tries well this is the interesting remember the last time australia had uh, a put into the scrum they fix that problem Crouch. Bind. Set. Phipps gets it in. They've got their feet over this one, so it will come back nicely for Phipps. Charge kick. Perinara is after it. And the halfback scores. Well, he won't be happy at all. You would have to say, Michael Checker, now that they've conceded this try, the pass back from Phipps was a big long one. So that gave Perinara the momentum and the speed. And it's Haylip Petty that's the victim of some pretty industrious work from TJ Perinara. Yeah, onto his, getting onto his right foot, his favoured foot to get the distance, Reese Hodge. That just cost him there. A second, and TJ Perinara absolutely outstanding. In the absence of Aaron Smith, he has not letting any chance go by, has he? He's just been phenomenally good. Right in front of the All Blacks benches, they're warming up down there. And heartbreaking for Hodge in the foreground and the Wallabies. Three times down there, they're All Blacks, three tries. Yeah, correction, it was indeed Hodge, as you mentioned. I thought it was Haylett Petty back there, but they set it up that way, the Wallabies. So the All Blacks always knew they had that kicker back there. Perinara spotted him. He knew that if the play went to him, he could just charge at that right foot, which he did perfectly. Barrett looking to land his first goal of the night, and he can't do that either. So three unconverted tries. 
15 points to seven. Well, perfect technique from TJ Perinara. And he's become something of a try scoring machine in recent weeks. He got a couple in Durban. Foley. Again, it'll be Crotty. Seems to be the designated catcher tonight. Ben Smith. Now Perinara sends it wide for Kano. Immediately looks to pass it behind. A lot of these, though, hold the All Blacks inside the 22. So back for Barrett. Quickly taken by Falau, but no options available there. An interesting observation, Justin, about the fact that the All Blacks haven't had any ball. And that really hasn't let Bowden Barrett get into the game, has it? And I would just wonder whether that's a bit reflective, too, of his goal kicking. Yeah, they just haven't had the ball, have they? And they haven't been able to multi-phase, which they... Which they're so famous for at the moment. Well, if he's won it through Coleman, now Phipps. Here's Foley. On the inside it goes for Spate. Henry Spate, hardly been involved. Tamani, who's carried the ball strongly. Moore looking to get in there, but a penalty. I can't allow that. And it's a clean-out by Arnold. You can't... Hey, get away! Get involved! Hey. Get involved, and I will reverse it. Is that clear? So what is it, sorry? I can't allow you to come flying through and taking people out about two or three metres beyond the ball. Come and rack, no issues. But you're flying through and taking men out too far. So Kieran Reid down on his haunches at the moment. Wallaby's conceding seven penalties so far in the half. Okay. Reid looks to be in a little difficulty. I'm not quite sure whether it's the shoulder or... Time on. Maybe a knock to the chest area. Oh, Barrett safely gets his kick away into touch. So three minutes. Here's uh, Tamani. He's been good. Still attention for no, Reid. I'm not sure he's going to be part of this line out. He's way, way back on the 22. So I don't think he's going to be a factor. In fact, he's uh, not looking 100 at all, although the medic's leaving him alone at the moment, which is a good sign. Well, half time only two and a half minutes away. So Coles to throw, finding Whitelock nicely. Coles holds in the back. Reed gets in out to help out. Still making okay, some okay. progress, now he has to release, so Perinara goes flat, and Crotty gets well and truly nailed. There's no Perinara, makes a little dab, Todd there to help him out, now Kano stands over it, but Perinara gets back in time, off it goes to Dag, good solid defence by Kopi Kepu, and it's going to be a penalty to Wallaby's way, they've turned it over anyway, so a plan advantage as Foley slings it wide and no advantage so back for the penalty well that was a an example out of the all-black playbook Sam defensively from the Wallab Wallabies with just good line speed and it was Hodge who came forward put a good hit on Crotty and then they kept coming forward which meant that Dag got hit behind the advantage line that's when they attacked the breakdown and won the penalty That it's is excellent. Kick. That is unbelievable into the breeze. Isn't that a kick? This has given them a right royal opportunity, Australia. Hey, Marius. How are we looking? Well, he's a prodigious kicker of the ball. The, the penalty space, that he space. attempted from halfway would have gone over from 60. Here it goes back to Moore. It's a very short, short side, this one. Now Phipps sends it up for Mum. And the Wallabies with one last opportunity as they give it away to Michael Hooper. Looking for quick ball. Now Phipps delays the pass for Moore. And the captain takes it to the setter. Phipps again. Foley looking for an inside channel. Tamani again. Demanding respect. And he gets it from Retallick. 
Now some ground made by Reese Hodge, who's got himself in there. Here's Tamani once more, Arnold the try scorer, Barrett trying to hold him up, he's a big man, and they get to six or seven metres away, here's the inside pass, Hayley Petty cuts it up though, and Leonard Brown gets it, and so the All Blacks survive this, and Perinara works it away, Barrett right out in front of the goalpost, the All Blacks with the half-time hooter already gone, Reed, up it goes to Kano, puts his foot down, looks for support, Outside the 22 now, Perinara, and they're lining up here, but they go on the inside, and Savia drops it. Well, they would have been better to go wide. There were six or seven of them lined up. There's the whistle. Half time, three tries to one, and the All Blacks lead at the break by 15 to seven. Right, standing by to go sideline now, and let's hear from Ben Smith. Yeah, Ben, the Wallabies team really aimed up physically in their first 40. Yeah, they have, and I think we just need to adjust to that and get our line speed up a bit, and yeah, just need to react a wee bit better probably. The stress in your defence with those little short passes, how do you combat that? Yeah, we've just got to work hard for each other and just we be where our mates need us to be, so yeah, it's a big point. Good luck for their second 40. Cheers, Carl. Tries to dag Leonard Brown, Perinara, and for the Wallabies, Arnold and are converted by Foley. Halftime at Eden Park, 15 to 7, the All Blacks lead. Tonight, the All Blacks leading the Wallabies, 15 points to 7, three unconverted tries to one converted try. The Wallabies are here trying to stop this All Black team reaching that magical number of 18 test wins in a row. I'm joined by George Gregan and Andrew Mertens. And George, already we've seen some more positive play from the Wallabies looking real. Right in, uh, after the first 40, what's your message been? Well, it was a messy, messy 40, wasn't it? You know, we did a few nice things, but um, you know, they've come to play. They're carrying hard and getting them behind us. And when we're getting the ball, we're getting a bit fidgety and making a few uncharacteristic errors. So we've just got to I guess bin what happened the last minute and just focus on the next job. 61% possession in favour of them, which is not a number you'd appreciate. No, it isn't. But I mean, we've been there before. I mean, sometimes when you when you score tries early in phases, you're, you're down on possession. So we'll live with that. But we've just got to be a little bit more assertive in both areas. In our know, defence, we're missing a couple. And in an attack, we're sort of not as clinical as what we want. The best, thank you. Cheers. So 40 minutes remaining. For the All Blacks to jump into the record books. Narrow margin, 15 to 7. It was 15 to 9 in Wellington last time they played. So it was even closer then. The All Blacks kicked on and won at 29 to 9. Okay. Um, Sean, you hear me okay? okay Both on. teams as per Grant when they left the field. Thank you, Smithy. So Naivalu was there, of course, right for the Wallabies, having lost Samu okay. Karevi. There's the try scorer, Rory Arnold, and he's been a terrific addition to the Australian side. He's gone with the two young locks, has Michael Checker, Adam Coleman in his seventh test. Rory Arnold in his sixth. Right, second half as Barrett gets the game started once more, and it's there for Brody Retallick. Couldn't believe his luck, and in the end he binned it. The play by Michael Hooper wasn't held, so he got up and went again. His fifths away it goes to Foley. Here's Moore, and the captain runs it up just near the 22. Is Foley back in position now? Hodge, Falau, Falau, very nearly shook his way through. Hodge trying to run off his shoulder. Here is Coleman. Two very big. Second row is both happy to carry the ball too as Phipps makes the kick. And oh, it's hit him on the scorn and it's been snapped up. Dag lost it completely. But because it hit him on the head, obviously it wasn't a knock on. Now here's Kieran Reid, the captain, taken down by Tamani. It's there for Perinara, but it's untidy and he gets overwhelmed by Wallaby forwards charging through. And it's been stolen away by Hodge. So the Wallabies, again, making a pretty strong start. And off it goes now for Tamani once more. On it goes to Moore. Here's Kepu, who's been running strongly. Got away from a tackle of Retallick and still going. Sokopi Kepu 
Now he delivers it up to Phipps. Foley looks to take the inside line. And Phipps again swings it back. And Wallabies making a good start to the second half. And goes Kepu again. Takes an extra metre or so. And they're going to get a penalty out of this. First defence, Tuckler. First defence, well, Tuckler. 10 to we nil early. Tuckler's in the wrong Wallabies side. are all over the show, okay. but they've come right back into the game. And it's all been about possession. Yeah, and they're punching onto the ball a lot better as well. Particularly the Ford pack. I like Tamani and what he's been offering. But also Stephen Moore to shift that on. And then Kepu, this guy. Not many get away from Brady Retallick, who earlier in this movement made an excellent tackle on Israel Falau when it needed to be made. But look at that from Kefu. Good, strong carry. And he gets involved a couple of times here, and Kieran Reid gets pinned and unable to roll away. They deserve their penalty. Well, Ian Foster's words were what? Niggly, ugly sort of stuff uh, from the All Blacks. Right from the kickoff, Brody Retallick drops the ball. Then you have the situation, very unusual situation, where there's a confusion at the back between Dag and Ben Smith. Dag thinking Ben Smith's going to come forward, take the ball, and ends up hitting Dag on the head. Another turnover. So uh, they won't be sitting down with any great joy. The All Blacks upstairs and maybe thinking about changes, a la Hamilton, very shortly. Well, we'll keep an eye on the bench. So Foley should be able to knock this over, which he duly does. And suddenly it's 15 points to 10 and only three gone in the second half. <laughs> so Bowden Barrett. All of these were a bit confused last time, and, but this time they get it right. It's been taken down by Spate. Henry Spate got himself right in the middle of the forwards there. There's Foley. On it goes to Moore. He's been a good, honest ball carrier tonight, Stephen Moore. Foley works it away again. That's a good tackle. Reed lined up Hodge and put him away. But the Wallabies are able to retain possession. Here's Coleman struggling downfield. Plenty of pressure coming from Coles. Now the kick from Phipps was claimed by Barrett. He got it away nicely for Smith. Ben Smith slips out of a couple of tackles. Still going. Now he feeds it up to Todd. Todd inside the 22. Whitelock clears it quickly. Now the All Blacks want to get it wide as quickly as they can. But they're under real pressure. And it's gone backwards. Savia gets there and cleans up. Away it goes again to Barrett. Leonard Brown. Todd. At least uh, a couple of forward passes there, which we've seen. I think the first one was forward, and certainly the second one was, and it looks like Aaron Cruden might have the call, Smithy. Yeah, not for very often this year. We've had to say that Bowden Barrett's been dragged, but uh, this is the case tonight. He wasn't able to get in the game in the first half. Missed three conversions, and the all-black coaches upstairs have reacted again. This is a surprise to Bodie, but to be fair, it's been on the cards. That's the way they're playing these days. Well, wow, it just typifies the depth of All Black Rugby at the moment that Roden Barrett, arguably probably the best player for them so far this season, is able to be bought off. And someone like Aaron Cruden can come on. There's the injury to Crotty. He just gets one in the face. Great courage for him to go down on the ball. But there's Bowden Barrett. And as you said, I don't think he's had a bad game. He just hasn't got into the game. And maybe just injecting someone like Aaron Cruden who finds his way around the field and plays slightly different. It might be what the All Blacks need. Goal kicking might be a factor. This is going to be close. And uh, he just wasn't striking it well enough either. I think that has to come into the equation. Shoulders out, everybody. Thank you. All Blacks still operating with just 38% possession in the game. Set. Now yeah, the Wallaby scrum, can it hold up? Looking to get a foot over the ball, it's a real struggle, now they do. And in the end it finishes up okay, and it's there for Phipps. Foley, looking to double round Foley, and he gets it too. And off it goes for Marvalu. Crotty in there disputing, now here's Phipps. Here's Foley breaking into the clear. Now he gets it away. Spate's got pace. Henry 
his fate. And in he goes. And the game is even. Oh, once again, and he's pumped Michael Checker, and he should be. Because the Wallabies have come to play, and that was just nice work from Hale Petty and Henry Spate, but also just the balance in the way that they're playing, punching onto the ball. Very nice here. Great hands from Foley. Showed it again, playing beautifully fat, flat, I should say. And then the finish from Henry Spate. Oh, he's been good, Michael Foley, tonight when he's been shallow, as you say, running onto the ball from flat passes. Absolutely stood up Kieran Reid there, which doesn't happen very often. And Spate the flyer, making up for the one that perhaps he gave away in the first half when he went for the intercept and didn't pay off. This time he does pay a divvy. I have a TMO call. Hello, we're going to have a look at something. Late. Nigel Owens is looking for something, folks. Okay. Oh, the conversion. I have a team more call to check, okay? Show me what, uh, show me and tell me what I'm looking at here, Sean. So, Nigel is going to come to you now. This is okay. Sean Feldsman, okay. the TMO's view of something. Nigel, here he comes. Maybe a wider shot. 14 against Black. Okay, another, another angle coming, Nigel. I don't think there's anything in no, that. I agree, Justin. He's, al he's allowed to run that line. He is, Haylett Petty is allowed to run that line. There's no way that he has it's any more rights to Julian Severe than what Haylett Petty does. That one there is oh, the best I angle, Spate, I don't think, to, to be fair, I think Spate was gone. Yeah, he was gone. Spate was gone. Fuck, please. Okay, tell me what you're thinking here, Sean. Craig, what are you... Amadeus, what are you seeing here, boys? Has he altered his line just to put him off his stride, yeah? That's my opinion, Nigel. Huh? That's my opinion. Okay, He's so he does lines. alter his stride, and he do, you reckon he does enough to, to prevent him getting anywhere near him? Yeah. And he's taking the 11 black out. Oh, my opinion. Oh, this gosh. is not looking good for the Wallabies. No, no, no. Um, There's enough obstruction to take him, OK? He went across the middle. Yeah, I, I agree with Michael Checker. He's delivered. And, and he's a passionate man, but I think rightly so. I understand as the former player, and I'm sure all the players out there that are involved in the game, as a supporting player, has equally as much rights to run lines. He was looking like he wanted to get around behind Spate. And I don't think it had an effect. I think Spate was gone anyway. He really was. Severe was compromised right from that minute. Hey, look, Petty's just trying he's gone. to... He's gone from there, I'm afraid. He is. And let's reiterate the fact there. This has come straight from Feldsman. Sean Felsman, it's not Nigel Owen's call. He awarded the try and was called down from upstairs. Well, what a pivotal moment that is. As Cruden makes a kick. Now, has he got it out? Uh, I don't think he has. So away goes for Lau on a searching run. And he, oh, he couldn't get the pass off to Michael Hooper, who was in a bit of a gap, and he's got pace, Michael Hooper, as well. So the ball has been knocked on, and the All Blacks have got it. So Smith's in there to give it away to Savia. Here is Kano looking to stride into open territory. Held up just out from the 22, Perinara gets it away for Todd. And Todd almost to the 22, Perinara again. Now here is Crotty. Leonard Brown, good tackle on him. Perinara gets there quickly, feeds it up to Franks. He heaves it on. Falls loose Away and is picked up by Whitelock. Now Cruden goes for the flat kick across field, but he's badly misjudged it. Easily taken down by Haylett Petty. Well, the All Blacks haven't got their rhythm, and there's a reason for that. It's Australia's line speed. They are bringing some defensive pressure at the All Blacks, and because of that, they're not able to punch onto the ball like we've seen them do in recent weeks. Ball into touch. Savia throws quickly to Ben Smith. Looking for Dag to chase onto this. Smith goes down in a heap. And beautifully taken down by Haylett Petty. Away, Black! Now Phipps gives it off to Foley. Ball knocked away by the All Blacks. Here's Cole 
Evans. He's got a ton of pace, Dane Coles. Now, did he get there first? And was it knocked on anyway? I think it might have been a knock on. Away you go. Oh, Foley's played out of the skin tonight. Time out. He saved this. Yeah, hang on, Sean. I'm going to come up to you now. They might look at something in back play on Ben Smith, too. Um, I just want to make sure that there was uh, not a knock on as he made the tackle. Yeah. And then I want to see because it looks to me like he's tackling without the ball here. Or if it's how you scored, please, okay? Okay, good. Right, looking at a couple of things. Well, it was the first impact that knocked the ball backwards. It was just whether there's an all black arm in it when he makes the tackle. Do you have any input that there was so a it's this tackle here that they'll look at. There's Kano, and it's probably come it's off, off his hand and his head. Yeah, I think, I think so. Which so may well make this irrelevant. Uh, I don't think it's an early tackle either. No, it's not. As Foley's got every right to compete like that. Is he not? Well, that, that's worse, I think, than the, the incident Sean? that... Just one second, The trial was denied yeah, I, for. I don't see anything wrong with the action of... Of ten goal. Quite clearly, ten goal. they have they brought out the Kano knock on. I just want to, you need to tell me now who throws yeah. the ball first, OK? okay. The Foley gets the, ground first, gets the grounding first, so the, the only thing they need to determine is whether that, that affected him getting there before Dane Coles by him grabbing him at Adam. That's, that's what they've got to decide. Is there justice in the game, Justin? I just can't say with any solidity that I know the answer to that, Smithy. Foley's right hand, I think, makes it first, doesn't it? Oh, he gets it down. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. I don't think that's what they should be looking at. Nigel, yeah, gold the ball was grounded by Gold. Yeah. Yep. And I'm happy with the action of 10. He doesn't interfere yeah. at all in that. Yeah. OK. No try, 22. So there was no knock on, apparently. Okay, time and Foley won the race. Yeah, big change, too, for Australia. Rob time Simmons out. with a lot of experience coming off the bench for Rory Arnold. Injury <laughs> substitution. You'd have to say he's been a success. He's had an excellent game, Rory Arnold, and that's a shame for him. But try scorer, okay, but also out. his work around the field has been excellent. So Rob Simmons, 66th test. Eight minutes gone, second half. Feels like half an hour gone in the second half. There's been so much happening. Here's the one of for Lau again. Great AFL schools, of course, with the high ball. Strong hit by Moody on Haylett Petty. Again, the Wallabies playing with the ball, and here Simmons finds himself in a huge gap. Nobody to give it to, so he takes the tackle. And flips there quickly. Now Moore hands it on. Wide pass. Oh, big strong tackle that time. And nicely tidied up by Stephen Moore. And I think it's Dane Haylett Petty who's gone down in a heap. Might have been the Kano tackle that got him. Now, here's Michael Hooper. As the Wallabies continue to play with a lot of the ball in this game. And off it goes. Here's Spate, denied a try earlier. Big no, clean out by totally Moore. Missed everybody. Play a ball out of the way. Play off. Now Coleman makes a nice move. Good footwork. Now the inside pass goes Ooh. to Marty, and that was a big hit by Todd. As the All Blacks were able to. Here is Falau shrugging off tackles. Gets deep inside the 22. Next runner Release. is Dean Mum. Now, they've got a penalty coming their way. Here's Scott Seo. Wallaby's really asking the All Blacks to make a lot of tackles. Tamani hands it up to Simmons. He spies a gap. Simmons still going. He's seen a lot of ball early. Playing under a penalty advantage here. Here's Perinara locked over the ball, but back they come. Yeah. He should be able to nudge this old over all right. Just good positive running is what it is. They're punching onto the ball and they're actually beating all black defenders just by punching onto it. Here's Haylett Petty. Boom, far in goes Kano. He doesn't miss people, does he? Oh, you see the grimace on the face. That's just taking the wind literally out of the sails, isn't it? 
They've seen enough upstairs, fellas. Triple Off change out. from the All Blacks coming Off very, out. very Deep shortly. Offside is the call I have. Foul Mawina will come on. Crockett will come on and Squire will come on. And uh, that'll be and for the two front out. rowers and Jerome Kano. Well, I have to say, gentlemen, and I'm sure all the rugby loving public in New Zealand and across the world that are tuning into this game will enjoy the way that Australia are playing. They're not out there to restrict, they're out to play positively and we've got a genuine contest on here because of that and you've got to commend where they've come from and the attitude they've come to Eden Park with. It's great to see. So Bernard Foley pretty much out in front. it up and off the post and well what an opportunity can't believe it Michael Checker denied a try which could well have been converted and an easy penalty and now the changes yeah they come yeah goal kicking's not been the highest order tonight has it in pretty good conditions you've got to say who did you say that um, Squire's on for? For Kano. For Kano, yeah, yeah, interesting, isn't it? He usually plays most of the minutes, Jerome Kano, so big change for Squire. How good was he in South Africa, though? Might be just the impact, impact yeah, on. that the All Blacks are after. <laughs> 15 points to 10. Creedon's kick taken in by Haylett Petty, who's been pretty brave tonight. Took a big hit from Jerome Kano. Here's Foley, hands it on for Tamani. Now Foley probing again. Perinara clings on to him. Phipps releases up for Simmons. All Blacks looking to turn over the ball, not able to get there though. Quick hands at the two prop forwards and an offload. It goes to Hodge. Able to get the ball away in the tackle. That's awkward for Falau, but he's good enough to hold it. Looking to channel it back. Slow as Phipps. Here's Simmons again. Phipps again. Kepu, how much has he run tonight? Pops it out quickly. Haylett Petty. Good spot tackled by Crotty. All Blacks looking to step over it. Stay on. And they've but stolen it. The it's there. And Dane Cole's looking to play at halfback. There's all that down and not looking flat. Metallic. 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 Yep. Yeah. Prone. No, no. Now here's Ben Smith looking to inject himself. Move now Perinara. Awkward pass. Lena Brown makes a little bit of ground. Metallic's up and going again, though. Here's Perinara. Pruden sends it on for Metallic. Knocked on. And now ball turned over. Here come the Wallabies on the charge. Oh, if he better to get an inside pass there. Now it's been knocked on. And here goes Ben Smith. Chasing after it is Pruden. Here's Savi. Savia gets away. And the All Blacks break the shackles. Oh, it's a cool game though, isn't it? It really is. Australia looking very likely. And just an error at the wrong time. And when you lose the ball and somebody like Ben Smith is hovering around it, something pretty sensational could happen, and it did on this occasion. No. They got him covered, but then the kick ahead and the pick up from Savia, great vision and cruel for the Wallabies but the All Blacks perhaps this is the spark they needed well Spate again is the, the villain of the piece, wasn't a great pass it's fair to say but what about the vision and the skill to go off the left foot there Savia hasn't had a kind night, his hands have let him down on occasion but there at his best busting the last man in defence and dotting down and boy, is that a real sigh of relief from the All Blacks under real pressure, fumbling, fumbling, and they get away with it to the tune of seven. 
Yeah, and they should have had three, Australia, and now look what they're facing, 22-10. How quickly the game changes. So Foley, it's a 12-point advantage. Oh, flying in was Novalu. Not able to take Ryan Crotty to ground, though. Now here's Todd. Just near the 22 is Perinara. If it goes for Pruden, hooks it out towards the wing of Sarabia. And this time he can't drag it in. Option, yeah? We're going to go with the line out, but surely he knocked it on. Scrum more lane there, Steve. Justin, there's a lot of talk Scrum. about uh, the Wallabies missing Will Guinea. What Scrum do you make it about Fitz tonight? I think he's been excellent. He really has. His running lines have been brilliant. He's got to the breakdown nice and quickly. His clearance has been good, and he's also been challenging around the breakdown. There's another big moment for Australia off the bench. All the experience and class of David Pocock. Uh, that will be for Tamani. He's had a really strong night. Pocock on the back. Come in, say the favourite, So up to 44 tries now. 49 test matches. Julian Sabir, what a strike rate that is. So David Pocock there. The All Blacks have spent 90 seconds in the entire game inside the Wallaby 22. Keep the standards, please. And have come up with four tries. Bye. Set! Oh, oh, Big pressure before the ball even went in. Wallaby's just creaking a wee bit, but getting a penalty nonetheless. 18, to your knees. Well, he's gone against the tight head prop on this occasion, Charlie Farmawina. I think they've got to go for touch yet. I just don't think three points at this stage of the game is going to be worthwhile. I think they need to be more positive now. It looks like they're going to. Be nice to see them rather than drive, work their fancy move off the back of the line out here again with the deception and the runners out the back. They throw quickly. Oh, it's untidy stuff. It's been knocked on by Phipps, so the All Blacks. Well, it'll be an all-black scrum. Accidental off goal into two, scrum down, black ball. Just when they needed a good line-out, it couldn't happen for them. You touched it, Nick, and it hit him, OK, accidental scrum, black ball, yeah, yeah. Wasn't Will full, so just a scrum, no penalty. Changes may be afoot for Australia up front. The whole front row replacement getting ready. Trips at the 60 minute mark. Crouch. Find. Set. All back scrum. With Reed holding, starting to twist Reed. Well, Pocock's over the ball, fighting with Squire, and it is going to be won by Pocock. And here's the value of the man. He is so strong over the ball, and he's won a valuable penalty. So it'll just be another kick for touch. Yeah, and they need to get this line out right. They really do, so they should be talking. Now Pocock is talking with Colvin, and they need to get this right. It's not a great touch finder, though, from Foley. Keep the space. Two meters. Here's the throw, and again the All Blacks get in now. Just a little game going on here. The whistle has gone though, so we go again. Both teams get the space in the line now, please. New Zealand, step off the map. Step off the map. Go the lads. Keep the space when you come in as well. Time on. So 
Stephen Moore throws. And this time it's taken down by Coleman. All Blacks, though, pushing the Wallabies back. Now they get a little bit of momentum. That's once. So they've got to keep going here, or the referee will ask them to release. It's got to go now, and it does go. So Foley, oh, a lovely pass for now and a bit of space. Had to release, had to hang on, though. Now Haylett Teddy standing. Here's Phipps. Good flat pass goes to Simmons, who charges onto it. Phipps again. Now Moore, back to Falau, who's dangerous every time. Places. Phipps again. Good defence. Todd was in low. Now, once again, the Wallabies through Hodge. The big number 12. Phipps. Foley. Careful crowd getting in behind the All Black defence as Phipps drags it out. Loose pass though. And it's been knocked away. An All Black turnover. So they've defended well. And they've had to. I'll tell you, and early in that movement, there was some tackle by Israel Dag that needed to be made on, Fol uh, on Falau. And if he didn't make that tackle, Falau was gone. And he had two players in support outside him. They worked the move really nicely. Off the driving mall, found the space. Dag came in off his wing Step and made a brilliant tackle. And Kieran Reid, the captain there, making a, a great incision just around the ball carrying of Nick Phipps. Just uh, targeting the ball and getting it. Kerbalo not far away for the All Blacks. For uh, Piranara, who's been very, very good tonight again. This is the move that they worked from the mall. There's Falau get on the outside, and there's Dag. He came in, he recognised that Anton Leonard Brown had missed the tackle, and he just turned in and grabbed them around the legs, and it needed to be made. Brilliant defensive decision and execution by Israel Dag. Still 20 minutes remaining in the game. The Wallabies continue to keep the pressure on. So there's Julian Sabir joining Jeff Wilson. How good's Matt Todd Bing? We'll show you. No. Yep. All the rights to the ball. There he is in again, ferreting away. Winning yet another penalty. And a good tackle there as well. And he's had a strong game. Here's Matt Todd. Crouch. Bind. Set. So, Perinara. Deep inside is 22. All black scrum. Holding up was Reed. Now Piranara switch. And off it goes for Cruden. Finding some good space here too. All sits up though. And controlled by Hannah Petty. Plenty of all black jerseys there though. Coming slowly for Phipps. Foley gets it away to Hooper. Phipps there quickly. Moore. Had to go nice and low. Ball's been lost okay, by Nick Phipps. Just a little bit please, untidy. Please, please Everybody else is out. Let it go. Get it, please. Let it go. Both of them. Let it go. Let it go. Everybody else. Two changes coming for the All Blacks. That halfback change will be effective very okay. shortly. And uh, also Malachi Fikatar in 23. That'll be for Anton Leonard Brown. Lost with the online here. Scrum, okay, Black. Time out, please. New Zealand, 9 and 13 subs, please. So those changes coming now. Malachi Fikitoa. We didn't get much of a look in when the team was away in Argentina and South Africa. And Kerbalo on with 19 minutes to go.
Just a couple of little mistakes from uh, Nick Phipps has uh, necessitated a change too from Michael Checker. So Nick uh, Frisby in jersey 21. He's been very good. And also Kefu is gone. And that's for Alan Ala Atoa. Flag strong, drive straight. Time on. Frisbee. Just a couple of test matches under his belt. Ben Smith outright with Israel Dag. Running. Bind. Set. Hughes. Now Reed off the back. Kerbalo with plenty of room. Ball knocked down though. Whether it was deliberate or not remains to be seen. He's got the arm out, Nigel Owens. Kerbalo away for Farmawina. Still 15 out from the 22. Away it goes to Cruden. Coles running in the midfield. He's looking to turn it over, can't do it though. Here's Kerbalo stretching in. Reed is there. White block a little wider. Puts it there for Kerbalo. Now Cruden for hands for Toff. Pops it up nicely for Cruden. He in turn gets it back on the inside. For Reed. Got his arm out again. Has Nigel Owens. Here's Coles. Slims it away for Crotty. Retallic to the 22. And back they go. No advantage. Yes, 15 goals. So you must step back behind when the ruck is formed, okay? You're offside. So it's an offside call against Israel for now. You can't buy a trick. No, they can't. They haven't had a great deal of luck in this game. Certainly mean? had enough ball and enough territory and possession, as we've alluded to. Any team that spends six minutes inside, over six minutes inside the All Black 22 in a game. Should be very worthy opponents, and it's just the clinical factor, I think, that's let them down. It's a vital kick for Aaron Cruden, a little bit of stuff off the ball. Seen plenty of it. I don't think they'll make much of this, but Aaron Cruden's first kick of the night will take the All Blacks out to a 15-point lead, if successful. More than two converted tries for Australia to bridge the gap. Straight kick from Aaron Cruden. Three points gratefully received by the All Blacks as they go out to 25 points to 10. And they go to the bench again. It's Artie Savia for Matt Todd. How strong, Justin? Great game from Matt Todd. Saw in his package that we showed you before the work rate that he has put in in this performance. He certainly has justified his decision to be picked as the open side flanker for the All Blacks in the last couple of weeks. I thought he's had a brilliant performance. Tom Robertson in 17 in the front row for Scott C.O. Wallabies. So the kickoff made by Foley is taken down by Ritalik. Kubalo. Adi Savia. With some fresh legs on the park. With 15 to go. Now Cruden. Just a little jab with the left boot. Julian Savia tries to get it. Kept in the field of play by Crotty. And now the All Blacks looking to move it from inside their own 22. And a long kick across field by Cruden. He's beautifully controlled by Falau. And off goes Israel Falau and gets his pass away in tight quarters. And Naivalu can't stay in. Call for Quade Cooper as yet. Straight out space, please. Andrew Foley has been really good. Are you not the tackler? Tackler. Dane Coles. 
finding his captain, Curvalo. Off it goes to Adi Savia. Now here's Dag. Away for Smith. And the chase is coming, led by Fiki Toa, but he got a nasty bounce. And just couldn't quite That's reel it in. And the Wallabies have possession. Alan Toa makes a little bit of ground. Now they get it away. Here's Foley. Having a go at the line, which he's done all night. Away! And a penalty for the Wallabies. Lost it the first time. To be gained off your feet the second time. Good work from Pocock to scramble back after that kick through from the All Blacks. Fikitoa was winning the race, just the bounce of the ball. Took a right, sort of a curve on it when he was just about to sc scoop it up. Malakai Fikitoa. She was certainly leading the charge. the Wallabies throw in. Now Spate's got it. Down the ground he goes and the tackle of Reed. Carried on by Robertson. Lost. Pocock. Stephen Moore. Leaves it there for Frisbee. Oh, that's a little tip at the line again by Foley. All Blacks holding their ground, but the ball is on the Wallaby side. Now Coleman gets it away. Moore nicely. Here's Falau. Got it away to Moore. He's had a good game, Stephen Moore. Off now to Hodge. Here's Haylett Petty. Almost got through, but was just tipped up by Julian Savia. Here's Moore. Back in action again. Really has led from the front tonight, the skipper. As Foley drops the pass off. Frisbee, change of direction. No gaps through the All Black Ruck though. And it's been stolen. And here comes the counter from Ben Smith straight up the centre. Gets knocked over, but it's still there for Kerr Barlow. Nice hands from Crotty. Here's Coles. He releases Julian Savier. Still going. And he's going to get another one. The bus well and truly back. Oh, that's vintage. Vintage Julian Savia. That's what he's known for. Bit of blood on the face of Tawera Kerbalo. He played tough. It won't bother him. But this is what Julian Savia is all about. This is the turnover. Wyatt Crockett down on the ball. Turns the ball over. And from there they launch the counter-attack. Just prior to this, before Crotty's pass and Coles. And then the recognition from Julian Severe that he's just going to back himself. Well, he gets rid of two tacklers. Fantastic. And those two tacklers were Henry Spate, who's had the mixed night, to be fair. And Nick Frisbee, spare a thought for the 21, trying to stop Savia at that speed and that pace with that determination. Couldn't do it. And that is a killer blow for Australia. There's no doubt about that. Well, just prior to the Crotty pass, when Ben Smith went into contact, the work of Brody Retallick to keep the ball alive, to keep the play going was instrumental in these points being scored. Bruder knocks over the conversion. Savia scores try number 45 in Test Rugby. But he really had to work for this one. Spate missed him, and then bang, Frisbee was left rocked after that connection with the thigh, the right thigh of Julian Sevier. Treatment for Sam Whitelock, just on the Australian side of halfway at the moment. Left ankle. Carry on! Well, even playing below par tonight, the All Blacks find themselves 22 points ahead. Falmawina gets it off, and here he comes again. Tried to get out of the tackle, but he got the pass on the inside. And Falmawina struggles a couple of metres. Now they're starting to open up here, the All Blacks. Here's Retallick. Kerbalo gets it away. Here's Becky Tower on the outside. He's here. Kerbalo. On it goes from Smith to Whitelock. Now it's the Wallabies having to make tackle after tackle. Kerbalo. 
Whoa, through an over pass. Now, Dean Mum, how quick are you? Coles. Oh, Dave Coles has nailed him in no time at all. And here's Aaron Cruden. Here's Coles again, having another crack. And he gets a pass off to Squire. And now Liam Squire, who's got a ton of speed as well. Not held, so he'll go again and again. And then he tried to slip a pass. Not successful, though. Kerbalo, long period of play this. Lungs will be burning. Here come the All Blacks. Feki Toa gets the call from Cruden. Here's Dag. He slips it nicely for Crockett. Reed. One more. No. Into the arms of Simmons. Nine minutes to go. Here's Moore. Slightly more traditional play by Stephen Moore. Now back for Foley. And it's not out, so it's not over yet. Off it goes. Here's Smith. Julian Severe. Here he goes. Slips out of one. And will pop it up. Yes, he will. And Dane Cole scores. Yes, boy, that's vintage All Blacks. He backed himself again, Julian Severe. You've got to admire that. Possibly ignored Ben Smith on his inside when Smith was free. However, nothing better than seeing the bus back himself, and he did. Got caught short, just short of the line. But Dane Coles, who started the, mo the movement with this great chase and tackle, which is what... <laughs> which, and he rubs the, the head in the ground as well, Dane Coles. We won't worry about that. But that's what started it off. He also made another breakout earlier, and then funnily enough, he's there again. Well, when he named the side this week, he did say he thought uh, Julian Sevilla, I'm talking about Steve Hansen, was ready to cut loose. The first 40 minutes didn't go his way as Hans let him down on occasion. But he'll want to look at the tape of the second 40 because he has been brilliant, as has his Wellington and Hurricanes teammate, Dane Coles. Absolutely brilliant at both ends of the field. Well, they ran themselves into the deck there. And Colts will get an ovation here, Nisbo. Sorry to interrupt. Taylor right. on for him. He'll get a beauty. I'll tell you what, he, he, he just... He just doesn't fit as a rugby player having that two on his back. He just play, he plays like a back. Some of the things he did in that movement, and then to finally score the try, out of this world. He is off the charts, Dane Coles. Right, here's Cruden from the sideline, and just away to the left. So suddenly, 39 to 10. And how good has this guy been in the second half in particular? And Coles this time didn't have to do a lot, except be up with the play. Just what Quade Cooper wanted, isn't it? 37-10 down, and uh, he says, get on there. Yeah, see what ready. you can do, pal. Six minutes to go. Foley kicks off. Lined up by Retellick. Kubalo <laughs> now with the head bandage on. Slings it away to Cruden. Figured Toa has a bit of a run. Finds Falmawina. Away, Sam! All Blacks happy to cut loose, but Sam conceding a penalty. Side. He's on his feet. No, he's on the side. He's not attacking the well, ball. Well, he's given it plenty tonight, Stephen Moore. He's I on think his feet. You're, you're looking at the Sam scoreboard the thinking, how did that the happen? But it regularly happens, doesn't it? The impact off the bench, I know we harp on about it, but it's just so significant. Some of the work that White Crockett did in that movement was outstanding as well. And he just comes on, gets on with his job and fulfills his role. And they just so fit. They just keep coming and coming and coming. And the Wallabies would have, if they weren't expecting that, then they didn't do their homework. Has the margin of this victory now, has it taken away anything from the disallowed Australian try? That might be a talking point at some stage. Yeah, it could be, Smithy. Here's the Wallabies through Tom Robertson. I'm looking to slip it to the back of this wall. James Hansen has it. 
Well, they're reaching closer here. They're going well. Got to keep it straight. Yeah, managed to smuggle it to the back. Hooper is standing over it. Away. Frisbee clears. Frisbee goes again for Pocock. Savia tries to rip the ball off him, not leave it, successfully. Leave it. As Frisbee, Foley takes it to the line. Ball has been jolted away in a strong midfield tackle by Ryan Crotty. How good Ryan Crotty. Well, he's not a player you notice a lot, but he does very little wrong. I, I, I still do like this from Foley. You know, he, he's looking there. It's a good angle from Reese Hodge, who's had a pretty good game. It's just very good defence from the All Blacks. Crotty in, makes the tackle, makes it a positive one. But there's a lot more to like about the way Australia have played this evening and the scoreline. Maybe doesn't look like it reflects that, but I think we've seen plenty more of what potentially this team can do. They've got a Grand Slam tour coming up. And some challenges in front of them, but they do have shown some capabilities out there today. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? Going for a Grand Slam. Yep. Good. We keep the same standards as a six. Well, this remarkable please. record. Crouch. Firstly of Eden Park. Bind. 22 Set. years. All blacks have been unbeaten on this ground. So Reed takes it off. Cruden slings it wide. Fikatoa bounces away from Hodge, who's been left not feeling all that well. He's concussed, no doubt about it. The All Blacks carry on, though, as Crotty takes it to the 10-metre line. Wallaby's defending a man short. Adi Savia holds it up for Kerbalo. Now the flat kick. Wallaby's going back after it. Kerbalo swings it wide for Cooper. Now Haylett Petty. Still Hodge down and being attended to. Now Frisbee works it away for Cooper. Falau has been really good again tonight. How long before he gets pushed up into the midfield? Coleman takes it into the setup. The All Blacks will defend staunchly here. Here's Savia. He got there and he's stolen it. And he gets a pass off too. And away goes for Talek on a run. Looking to free the arms up. No, he's not held. Right near the 22 again with Kerbalo. Cruden. And Savia puts it down, having done the hard work earlier. Hands away, Black lost. Now the Wallabies just about run themselves to a standstill here. And a run out of ideas too by the look of it. Just going to keep moving it. Hope that they can outflank the All Blacks. Pocock throws a pass for Cooper. Trying to hold him up off the ground was Cruden. Into the last minute of play at Eden Park. As Ala Latoa. The Wallabies continue to play. And they played pretty well in this game. Now the All Blacks have turned it over again. Here's Fiki Toa. Squire got it away nicely for Cruden. They could finish for the flourish. Cruden gets it away. And Israel Dag saunters in. And he'll go right round and put it down under the bar. I think it's forward. Did it check the pass, I think, yeah? It looked forward. <laughs> Sean. Um, Nigel. Yeah, show me, please. Last pass. The last pass. Yes, please. Okay. I don't think he needed to pass it, to be honest, Aaron Cruden. He could have found his way, his way to the paint on his own. Unselfish of him, but it's the angle that he tries to throw it back on. So as he's going on this angle here, I think he just needs to back himself. But he instead decides to throw the pass, and that's definitely gone yeah. forward. Forward, yeah. I think, I think Israel is Dad knows it too, doesn't he? Nigel? Yeah. yeah. You, maybe you want to see it again? Right. Maybe you want to see that one again. <laughs> you, you're talking about the last pass the from last Cruden. Pass, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. 
No, no, Joel, it's forward. not forward. forward. Oh, oh wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm happy, up. Yeah, forward in me, Sean. Okay. He keeps on running and makes it look very thousand, but it has gone forward. Scrum down, your ball. Oh, he's overruled. He's overruled the TMO. Left his hands forward. Towards That's why he's the, the best in the world. Yeah. <laughs> He's got it right. He's got it bang on. It's certainly gone forward. I don't think you'll see any arguments from Aaron Cruden, Israel Dag. Foley knew it was forward as well. And, you know, that's sometimes an inception of TV that can make it look like it hasn't happened. But the referee and the players, they all know they're out there. And I think he's taken the ball by the scruff of the neck. And he's got it right, Nigel Owens. Send him on, So Brody Retallick comes out. Coming on. We've got anybody to bring back in. Yeah, we run Jerome Kano back on this boat. We'll uh, get inside along uh, side Sam Whitelock. Henry Spakes back on too as well because uh, Hodge had a, a collision at the other end with Fekitoa's thighs and he's off. Yep. Go back a bit if he's uh, black. Oh, look. Look. Shoulders, please, boys. So just 30 seconds remaining. Crouch. Five. Set. Again, pressure on the Wallaby scrum, and it's folded. And the All Blacks have... Oh, no, they haven't. They went on the angle, and that's the ruling. My, my mistake. My mistake has pointed the wrong way. Yeah. And the and oh no, he's, he's, the wrong he's turned it the other way. So it's a penalty to the All Blacks. I'd be surprised if they kick this out. It looks like Kieran Reid's, he's had enough. So he's going to hand the ball to Aaron Cruden. Big discussion about whether they want to carry on or just call it quits. Can't take the line out, huh? No, can't take the line out. You take a scrum, but not a line out. It wasn't the penalty? Wasn't from a line out. Yeah. You want a scrum? End of the game. I just want to win the game. So that's what is going to happen. Aaron Cruden kicks it into touch. 18 consecutive wins, and the All Blacks are in the history books. So, final score at Eden Park. The All Blacks, after leading 15-7 at halftime, have won the match and created a new world record by 37 points to 10.